and it looks as cool as it keeps you. Rolling hooded towel by Timu is lightweight and breathable. It is approximately 11.4 inches by 24.4 inches. It is made of a microfiber moisture wicking material. It has a front snap to help keep it secured. It is also rated at UPF 50 plus to give sun protection and is useful in an absolute multitude of activities. I was really hoping I could get this video in before the end of summer, but of course I wanted to get some testing in with it. And I have got some extensive testing with this little hoodie, which I can say a lot about in a little bit. Basically what I got this for is to use when I've been out in the woods and the extreme heat like I was in the last camp I was in. I know you guys have seen the video. It was not supposed to be that hot that, on that camp. And it got up to 92 or 93, I think miserable but i had still had a good time but i've been using this a lot when i've been in the gym training now the gym i train in does not have air conditioning it's more like a hardcore gym and i've already been training in temperatures above 95 degrees you know i've been used to that for most of my life it's cool and aside from the gym i've also used it outside doing some motor vehicle work which i've had to do recently working in the yard and of course i did take it on that camp and use it Although I didn't get any video of it, but I did try it that night and it did work very well. Now, this Timu cooling hoodie. <laughs> now, this Timu cooling hoodie comes in two colors green and what they call this a light gray. Although the inner part has a darker gray on it. And honestly, I really think you could, if you wanted to, you could flip it inside out and wear it. Although I've been wearing it like you're supposed to. It comes with a nice button on the front. The button is plastic, so you don't have to worry about when you do get it wet, it rusting or anything like that. It does come in a one size fits all. It has a nice stitch around here, which goes around your head. You can wear this with a hat or without a hat. I've done both and it has not affected how it's cooled me in any way. The only difference is when I've wore this with a hat on, it keeps the front off of my, uh, from blocking any vision or anything like that, which came in handy when I was doing some automotive work. But other than that, it doesn't matter. It's basically preference what you guys prefer. I've done them both. It does have a slit in the back. As you guys can see here, that's to wrap around your neck. You can let these sides go over your shoulders. And if you do want this to wrap around the front of you, just be aware that if you're in direct sunlight, sometimes this opening here won't be all the way covered. So you may have to adjust your hoodie a little bit. So. You don't get a, a sunburn in that area. I've had no problem with it at all. It works perfect. I have used it tucked into my shirt and I've used it on the outside. Works just the same either way, but on the windier days that I've used this outside, I've liked to have it tucked in because this thing will blow around in, in your face. Enough of me yapping about it. I know you want to see it on me. So I'm going to show you some video of me wearing it with a hat and without a hat, uh, doing a little modeling. Although this is Timu's version of a cooling hoodie, I want to put up that Mission of Mission Hats also has a product almost exactly like this. If you're not comfortable with buying off Timu, I'd recommend buying Mission's version of this because I guarantee you it's going to be just the same and act just the same. But I do want you guys aware that the Mission version is going to be a little bit more expensive than Timu's version. And Mission's version had, comes in six colors. Just so you, I just want you guys aware of that. It's probably basically the same product, but Mission has more of a history of standing behind their products. 
This is Timu for right new, but for this product, I paid $2.98, and right new, this cooling hoodie on Timu is going for $2.06. One thing I do like about it is after you saturate it and get it wet, you can wring it really well to get all the extra water out, but it still keeps that dampness and that coolness, but you don't have to. It's up to you if you want to keep it soaking wet and put it on you on a hot day, but on those miserable days, especially in the gym, I would wring it out really well with some ice cold water, put it around me, and because it envelops your head, it really does a great, great job at keeping you cool. At least for me, it did a, did a great job and made my workouts in that extensive heat bearable. And also that night out at the camp, it gave me some much needed comfort when I needed it. And outside working around the house and the yard, and of course when I did some auto mechanic work lately, it has helped a lot. I can say a lot about this uh, cooling hoodie, but if it's something you need in the future, I'd highly recommend picking these ones up. If you work in a hot environment or a, you're, you live in an environment where it's hot all year round, this might be something you want to take a look at. I wish I had gotten this video in earlier, guys, but I really did have to put it through the testing. I wanted to see if it was worth it. Now I wish I had started a month before I started testing. But like I said, guys, Timu doesn't support us, doesn't support this channel in any way. It's just an inexpensive way to pick up some great products and some great gear. And if I find them, I love sharing them with you guys. I really like the fact that it's a microfiber material because I have gotten it dingy and a little bit dirty from use. And once it's popped in the washing machine, because this is washing machine safe, it comes out clean as a whistle so far. And I've gotten some really grimy handprints on it just when I was adjusting it. But as you can see, it still looks great and still performs great. And that microfiber material makes this very packable. You know, it's nothing, it's almost like a little sock that you can just, you know, bind up and stick in a pocket someplace or stick on an outside mesh of a pack. If anything fails on this between new into next year, because I will use it anytime I feel like I need to cool down, anything changes in the negative, I will put a video up or short and let you guys know exactly what happened. As always guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye for now.